As is known, Yitzhak was born with a feminine soul that was exchanged for a masculine soul at the Akedah, at the binding of Isaac. This has already been talked about. So what am I talking about it for? It's because Isaac, Yitzhak, corresponds to the Sapphira of Gavura. Gavura is the home and home base of Gavriel. It's the same uh, root letters of Gever, Gimel, Vav, Resh. Not Gimel, Bet, Resh. And so this strength, you see, comes from the left from the most severely left, the, the fifth Sephirot. And fifth is always a problem, I mean, even in tarot cards. So the point is, what do we have here? We have a, in Yitzhak, we had a feminine soul that was exchanged into a masculine soul. In its angel department, we have Gavriel coming from that same spot. Gavriel had two souls. It represented two souls down here on earth. It represented a feminine and a masculine. This is what makes Gavriel slightly different. Gavriel had a feminine soul. Did, did, he, did he also have a masculine soul? Let's assume yes. But the unique aspect of Gavriel is it had a feminine soul. A feminine component to the soul, at least. Different than Mikael, pure masculine. So when we have now this new sexuality of changing souls with people and things like that, you know, gender and this comes from Gavriel. Gavriel is associated with, and Sarah shall have a son. In the same way, Gavriel was associated bringing news that Mary will have a son, Jesus. There's a parallel here. And that Gavriel is the bringing down of this information into the feminized physicality world. And that is a feminine component. This masculine feminine base so what Gavriel is, 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 is my thing. And how I had to de delve deep. I had to delve into the letter Kuf to get this, not information that could be read, but to be experienced. Experience Gavriel in the Sapphira of Gavura.